using MathType. MathType is a program that runs in conjunction with Microsoft applications PowerPoint and Word and is very helpful when writing equations, particularly with math symbols such as square root signs, exponents, pi, and dozens of other math symbols as well that are not available in the standard Word or PowerPoint formats. It is a product of Design Science Inc. After you download MathType on the free trial and use it, you will receive this pop-up inviting you to order. I have always chosen the Continue Demo option. Here's how you can find it to download. I just typed Math Type Download into Google, and this is where Google took me. I chose the one on the top, the Math Type 30-Day Trial. Then you are taken here where you can download the program. Alternatively, you can go to buy it as well. If you are an educator, you can take advantage of the $57 educator rate. Thus far, I have only used the version after the trial period, what they call Math Type Lite. After you download Math Type, this symbol shows up here, the summation E in the upper left or of your PowerPoint normal view. It's from here you can use Math Type to insert an equation. And this is what it looks like when selected from your PowerPoint program. One of the first things I like to do is to go to change the standard font in Math Type. The standard font is Times New Roman in italics, which, though pretty, has the serif thin portions of characters that can easily disappear depending on your final video output. Go up here to click on Style, then go down to Define. In this window, I recommend using a uniform thickness font such as Arial and making the characters bold by checking the bold boxes. Then click OK. To activate Math Type from PowerPoint 2003, click the big summation E here in the upper left corner. It says insert, insert equation when you move your cursor over it. This view comes up with the cursor blinking here. Let's enter something that would be difficult to do without something like math type, the quadratic formula for instance. We enter x first, then the equal sign. Then we enter the fraction symbol found here on the palette. Then we enter the negative b from the formula in the numerator. Next we enter the plus or minus symbol from the palette. Then we enter the square root symbol from the palette. Next we enter the b. Since we need b squared, we enter the exponent choice from the palette. The square root sign gets taller to accommodate the exponent. Then we enter the 2 for squared. Now the cursor is up with the 2 in the exponent. We need the left to click down at the level of the b for text along at that level. Then we enter minus 4ac. Note how the square root sign lengthens to take in the minus 4ac. And finally, we enter the 2a in the denominator to complete the quadratic formula. Next, we highlight the whole equation by left-clicking on the left side of the equation and dragging the mouse over the quadratic formula so it's all darkened like this. Next, right-click to bring up the context menu for the highlighted quadratic formula. Choose Cut or Copy. I usually choose in case I want to change it. Then you go back to the PowerPoint slide and then right click then choose paste. You'll see the quadratic formula pasted as in the middle here. You might notice a couple other things. There's a little gray rectangular mark in the upper center of the slide that you can get rid of. Also when I use PowerPoint 2003 with Matt Type, the title may move down like mine has here. So I will need to put it back at the top of the slide the way I intended. You can make your formula as big as you want it and drag it wherever you would like. We can modify the formula by clicking on it to highlight it, then right click to get the context menu from which we choose Format Object at the bottom. And that gives us this menu, the Format Object dialog box. From here we can do many things like program size, but I want to change the color and we go to Picture and from picture we can go to recolor and here in the new drop down box I choose this color a type of blue plus press OK then OK at the bottom of this next box and here we have our quadratic formula in blue we can also use color by going to format then go down to color from format and the colors will open up on the right we can go over and choose one of the available colors for text and we're choosing magenta here the advantage of doing it this way is that you can put different colors of text inside one expression 
like we see here instead of having to recolor a whole equation or expression using the recolor feature. After the 30 day trial period is expired this is what you are left with math type and light mode. Even though it looks a lot smaller in the menu area than the full version, the ver this version is no slouch. These first three menu tabs on the lower bar allow me to do pretty much what I am used to doing in the full version. It does the fractions, the big parentheses, the square roots, exponents, and all that stuff. About the only thing I cannot do in the math type light mode is go to recolor under format, at least the, the, what I've tried to do anyway. It is grayed out in the light mode, and here it is grayed out and unavailable. However, I can still go to the format object mode by right clicking and going down to format object. And from here we can go to picture recolor to change the color. And we go to the recolor again to change the color from the default black. As far as using math type, we have only started in this lesson. It's a good program that helps me a lot in making my presentations and lessons. I hope that something of what I have, I have learned helps you. This has been using math type. Thanks for viewing.